of course we need to start off with this really strange video that's doing the rounds going viral and this guy's using it as promotion and stuff i don't know why but the legend the legend the legend the legend the legend that is um matt reif has put together this pretty interesting clip taken from his latest show and it features a very inebriated guy from SWAT, um, a Scott, you know, what I don't know, assaulting him on stage. I don't know what he's doing, but let's play out this clip because this clip is pretty hilarious. <laughs> I pulled it from TikTok, but let's see what you guys think about this, right? Matt Rife on stage, the guy who I think Brendan Shaw is funnier than, and I'll definitely die on that hill. I think Brendan Shaw is a far better stand up than Matt Rife. I don't care what anyone says, but let's see the clip and let's see this very interesting interaction between these two Hollywood elites. All right, hey, one handsome motherfucker at a time, dog. <laughs> Did you have some fun? I ain't got jokes like this motherfucker right here. I'm a Jamar Moore. I told him when I got here. I've been watching him on YouTube. And I, I, I'm meeting him. He is so fucked. And that's the thing about people that look like him, right? This Shamar Moore guy, right? He's the nigga from SWAT. I watch SWAT from time to time. It's fucking horrendous, right? It's really bad. Think of CSI. Think of worse. That's what SWAT is. It's fucking horrible. And he plays this, you know, fucking Batman type figure in that kind of, in that show, right? He's got a bulletproof vest on with fucking no t-shirt underneath, like crazy guy. But he also keeps himself in very good nick. I think in general, right, people like this, I've always seen, I don't know if you guys agree with this, guys who really are in the gym, like legitimately in the gym, who work out a lot, take care of themselves, are always eating chicken and white rice and broccoli, drinking shakes, drinking egg yolks in the morning and stuff like crazy, running 10 miles a day, on it hard. Yeah, TRT, of course, included a little bit of sprinkling, maybe some acai bowls to keep them nice and lean. When they drink, they get so so drunk so quickly and that's a real telling part of me knowing that they're actually strict day to day you can tell they're strict like when a guy actually goes to the gym and works out and actually is committed to making sure that he's always got six pack abs when he's like 60 he has one beer he has one tall boy he has one mimosa one caprina one you know whatever moscow mule whatever they get loopy so quickly so i'm pretty sure this guy is only like a couple beers in and he's slurring, he's all over the place because Monday to Friday or Monday to Sunday, six months out of the year, he's only eating white rice, boiled chicken, broccoli with a bit of sriracha as he's like mayo or sriracha is like his cheese. That's his treat, a little bit of sriracha or a couple of, you know, um, a bagel with like, a, you know, some scrambled eggs on top. No egg, no egg, no egg yolks, only whites, like super clean so that when they do eat, when they do drink something crazy and they go a bit off the rails, they go fucking loopy and they don't know what to do. This is exactly what you see here. He's absolutely fucked. For the first time tonight, I'm seeing him live in person, like a lot of us, I'm sure. For the first time, but I've been watching him, me and my girl, my baby mom, and, I, and my girl comes to me and she's like, Shamar, you're the sexiest motherfucker in the world, Jenny, you're the father of my daughter, but I want to fuck Matt right. <laughs> huh what so now i understand now i understand brendan's humor i get it now for a long period of time brendan shaw and brian callan's humor all the dick jokes all the fucking of the men jokes all the gay jokes all the you know you're married and you got kids and children but you're flipping looking at pictures of fucking random instagram models on a podcast that's that's viewed by hundreds and thousands if not millions of people and you're commenting lustfully on these people's pages and videos not embarrassed not shy not a little bit cringed out by commenting on random people online so all this sort of really yeah that's what i think that's a word seven all this really juvenile infantile stuff that you would have done when you was a kid it's all making sense now. This is what they all do. They all do it. This is what they all do. And it's hella cringe. I'm not going to lie. Hella, hella fucking cringe. Getting on stage and admitting your 
wife, girlfriend, baby mother, whoever wants to fuck the comedian on stage, like a bragging thing, is weird. What does that mean? Is he going to be in the corner jacking off? Is he going to be in the corner jacking off, strangling a cat? Is he going to be in the corner with the kid on his phone as they're both fucking? What is going on? Or Eddie D, this is Shamar Moore. He's an actor. He's in SWAT. Don't you guys know what SWAT is? Or am I, or am I going crazy? Don't you guys who know Shamar Moore is? Let's get up on here. I think it's, Sh- I think it's Shamar Moore. That's it. Yeah, this guy. You don't know who this guy is? This actor? He, he used to be a he used to be a video victim. He used to be, used to be a male video victim back in the day also. But he's in a TV series called SWAT. Oh yeah, he was on Criminal Minds also. This is the things he's been in. Look, TVs and shows. Let's see the TV shows. Let's see if you recognize him from here, Eddie D and other people in the stream chat, if you recognize him. This is stuff he's been in. He's been in SWAT, Criminal Minds, Diary of a Mad Black Woman, Young and Restless, Sonic Hedgehog 2. He's in Brothers, Soul Train, The Bounce Back, Motives, Justice League War, Motives 2. <laughs> All the blockbusters. Mama Flora's Family. <laughs> Never Too Big, Birds of Prey, The Nanny, Moesha. That's a legendary show, if you know. If you know, you know. Justice League, Dark Apocalypse com- I mean, animation. He's in the Justice League with the teens. He's a voice in Reign of Superman. He's a voice in Death of Superman, Seat Filler, Justice League Throne animation, b- a movie called How to Marry a Billionaire. Don't you know Shamar Moore? Come on, man. Look at all these luscious hits. Some of these don't even have cover images, <laughs> but he looks more, but I'm, I'm more familiar with him because of SWAT. I've been watching it recently because I had literally nothing to watch on, on online. So don't judge me, but I've been watching this show called SWAT that he's in, where essentially he's, you know, the head of some SWAT division. It looks like that. He's got a dyed goatee and shit. And he looks like that. I've been watching this. That's why I'm more familiar with it. And the, th- the funny thing is, the, the funny thing about this is that if I'm not mistaken, didn't SWAT get cancelled? So that might explain why he's getting so fucked up at a comedy show. I swear, yeah, say he got cancelled, yeah. So SWAT got cancelled. He assumed it was going to go on forever and ever. And he's probably really tight about it and pissed off and kind of drinking his, you know, drowning his sorrows with some booze. Hence why he got on stage with Matt Rife and tried to fuck him on stage. Makes all the sense now, doesn't it? Now it makes all the sense. It's because I like seeing motherfuckers win. I like seeing motherfuckers win. And this, and this, this young white boy who wants to say nigga so bad, <laughs> he does all his friends are black, <laughs> but he can't say it because he'll get cancer. But when he comes to my house, I'm gonna say, get it out of your system. Nigga, 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 nigga. What the fuck is going on here? God almighty. <laughs> it's- I'd rather listen to the golden hour. Here is because I have never met this man. I just watched him on YouTube and I was like, you know, this motherfucker's. First of all, going to a comedy club, heckling a comedian as a celebrity, then going, get on on stage and taking the microphone out of the fucking mic stand and talking and having your moment in the flip on stage is such an actor thing to do. That is such a narcissistic, all the attention has to be on me type of view. It's the comedian show. Let him have his reign. Wave in the crowd or something. Shout something out in the audience. You don't need to get on stage. You don't need to take the mic out of the fucking mic stand and try and command it like it's your show. Like, let the guy have his time, man. I'm not a fan of the Matt Rife kid, but what the fuck is this? I don't know if this is the middle of the show, end of the show, beginning of the show, but this is kind of... kind of tasteless. Lacking in class a little bit. It's There's no, like, professional dignity there. No? Or respect or something. Like sit down in your seat what the fuck are you doing on stage i know i invited you here wave to the crowd show them your abs or something do a little fucking r&b dance and then get back and get back into the audience why are you giving us a fucking ted talk funny and he's pretty and, and <laughs> no, so like, pretty people ain't supposed to be fun kevin hart is not pretty he's short and he's funny chris Carter, motherfucking damn okay. Not 
nah. The moment he took the microphone out of the stand is when it all went to shit. You saw Matt Rife's face kind of change. Did you have some fun? <laughs> See, he took command of the whole thing. He kind of alphaed him out a bit there, right? That's some real light-skinned boy energy. That's 30 years plus in the industry energy. Listen, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and plus this is like this is like his audience also Shamar's audience these are all these middle-aged women who are good big fans of Matt Ryan I think he's cute he obviously likes middle-aged women also you'd imagine fucking hell man absolute horror show but big up Matt Ryan for handling it like an absolute G to be honest um, he didn't make a deal out of it but I would have been a bit annoyed I'm not gonna lie to have goatee-less um, sleeveless skinny jean wearing Shamar Moore on the stage getting in front of my audience, doing whatever he's doing is really strange to be fair. He kind of dogged him out in a little bit, but you know, he rode with it, he rode with it. But yeah, none of my business, none of my blood clot 